Hey folks, Rob here, and guess what? More ammo. Uh, and the irony of it is I drove all the way to Ohio to my nephew's. Um, I drove up there to visit my nephew. I really didn't go in search of ammo, but I thought since I was going up there, I know he had the, in his little town up there, they have a Rule King, they have a Walmart Super Center, they have the fin, fur, and feather, or feather, fin, and fur, whatever it's called. Um, some other places there. And I thought, you know, well, might be a good opportunity to pick up some ammo. But, uh, you know, basically, it was pretty well bust. The uh, fur, fin, fur, and feather, or feather, fur, and fin, whatever it was called, is uh, literally, to me, that's a joke. To go in there and them ask, you know, $33 for a box of uh, 115 grain, just full metal jacket, target loads, $32. Um, $32.99 to be exact. And uh, just to me, that's that's ridiculous. Um, and, you know, uh, 800 rounds of a uh, 22 long rifle for a uh, you know, $143.99. That's just, that's ridiculous. I don't know. And they had plenty of ammo. They had tons of ammo, but there was nothing on there that was affordable. So, um, where did I end up? The Walmart up there had no ammo. They had some, uh, three and a half inch turkey loads and that was it. So no, uh, no ammo at their Walmart. But, uh, before I left, the other day uh see we left yesterday which would have been saturday morning um friday morning i went to our walmart and uh we actually got a score my wife went that morning and uh before she went to work and she picked me up she got me two boxes of the winchester double a now these, these, in my opinion, were a little bit high for what what they were. The uh, Winchester Double A out there at Walmart, which, if you ask me, Double A is no better than any of their others. Uh, but they were seven eighty seven a box uh, for the Double A's. And uh, my wife, she, she not under not knowing what I owned, she picked me up a box of these Winchester Double A turkey loads which you know I have been buying some of these but these are three and a half inch I don't own a gun that shoots a three and a half inch uh, shot shell nor do I particularly want one because a three inch is uh, brutal enough I don't know why anybody would uh, hate a turkey or anything else bad enough to want to shoot it with this so um, uh, so I have that which I don't need. I may try and sell that. I don't want to try and take it back to Walmart because I know they probably on ammo probably wouldn't give. But uh, that was nine dollars and ninety seven cents for the turkey load. So, uh, so she picked me up three boxes, and later on that day, uh, I had to go pick my little girl up from school. So. Uh, Actually, I had to take her to meet my wife. She had a doctor's appointment. So I went and uh, I thought, well, I'm out here by it. I'm going to go out to Walmart and see, just see if they got anything left. And they did have shells left. They have, they had no double A shot shells left, but they did have uh, several boxes of these turkey loads. But uh, they had four boxes of these uh, uh, Super Target Winchesters. Uh, these are the uh, seven and a half shot. I think these are 1,200 feet per second. So I picked up three more boxes of the Winchester uh, Super Targets. So Friday I scored six more boxes, actually five boxes that I can actually shoot of 12 gauge ammunition. So. Uh, this box here of turkey loads, you know, somebody around probably will uh, will need those, and I'll 
Oh, those won't be hard to get rid of. Ammunition's pretty, pretty hard to come by right now, so those won't be too hard to get rid of. Maybe I can trade them for a box of standard 12 gauge or something. So anyway, uh, but yeah, the uh, Tripto High was, uh, as far as looking for ammunition, and they're probably just as bad a shape as we are. And uh, some of the uh, the uh, retailers up there, like the that Finn Feather and Fur, was a you know a pretty good sized store, and and uh, you know they were pretty well gouging those prices. Uh, and everybody's doing it now. It's not just that. I was on uh, Bud's Gun Shop the other night looking, and they had uh, Remington Thunderbolts, uh, uh, 500 rounds of Remington Thunderbolts for like 90 bucks, and you know so. That's that's still ridiculous for 22s. Uh, I know there's people out there probably buying them, but when they get to that point, uh, I'm not buying them anymore. I just I just won't shoot for a while. Uh, I'll keep what I got, and uh, I don't know how y'all feel about it as far as the ammo goes. Is is there going to become a point when you're just going to say, "Hey, I got I got to stop shooting"? You know, I pretty much already stopped shooting my pistol calibers and pistol ammunition and uh you know my hunting rifles uh, of course i i reserve them mostly for hunting anyway so what i've been shooting mostly lately is, is shotgun because i can still get some shotgun shells and i can get them reasonably priced um and i have found 22 so you know and uh luckily i had a pretty good surplus of 22s uh, going into this whole thing so um I have a pretty good stockpile, so uh, I can still shoot 22s for quite some time and, and have some to keep in reserve. So let me know what, uh, where is your tipping point to where you're going to say, hey, you know, I love to shoot, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to curtail it for a while until the uh, ammo comes back and drops down in price. You know, if everybody quits. Uh, shooting it and sits on what they got eventually they'll have to drop the prices or 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 keep it so anyway guys just a quick uh, video uh i know i'm probably boring you to death with the walmart uh, ammo videos but you know this is what i'm finding uh they uh they did have some 308 out there and they had some 243 so they do they are getting in some uh, rifle calibers uh like i said last week i think i was last week i got the 22s uh, so if, you, if you're there at the right time you can score some 22s but uh you know for the most part this is what i'm finding some uh shotgun shells some rifle shells and uh you know my hunting calibers i i have enough of those in reserve that i don't really have to buy those right now so Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching the video and taking the time to uh, to watch my videos and uh, leave comments. And you guys are great about giving me thumbs up. And uh, uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does. And uh, until my next video, guys, we'll see you later.